I'm supposed to be. I don't know what it means. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 well, you could, you could stand anywhere you want. Okay, I'll just anywhere. Stand here. Yeah. 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 Anywhere you want, you can stand. You can kind of face one another. See, that'd be kind of cool because you're the mother. Mother, yes. you could face and glare at one another. <laughs> you know, just kind of go like this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, that's that's good. Ready? Yes. yes. Good, thank you. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we have come together in the presence of God to witness and bless the marriage of Alexandra, Alexandra, Alexander, and Madison in holy matrimony. The binding covenant of marriage was established by God in creation and our Lord Jesus Christ adorned this manner of life by his presence and first miracle at a wedding in Canaan, Galilee. The, uh, it represents the mystery of the union between Christ and his church and Holy Scripture commends it to be honored among all people. The union of husband and wife in heart, body, and mind is intended by God for their mutual joy for the help and comfort given one another in prosperity and adversity, and when it is God's will for the procreation of children and their nurture in the knowledge and love of the Lord. Therefore, marriage is not to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, deliberately, and in accordance with the purposes for which it was instituted by God. Into this holy union, Madison and Alexander come now to be joined. If any of you can show just cause why they may not be lawfully married. Speak now or else forever hold your peace. I was looking at the guys in the back in particular. <laughs> Before God and this company, I ask you to affirm your willingness to enter this covenant of marriage and to share all the joys and sorrows of this new relationship, whatever the future may hold. Alexander. Will you have Madison to be your wife, and will you love her faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Good. Madison, will you have Alexander to be your husband, and will you love him faithfully as long as you both shall live? I will. Very good. I'm going to share with you some scripture and just a couple of thoughts. Uh, this, I want you to listen to this passage because it's got good advice every married couple needs to remember. As God's own, Holy and beloved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, meekness, and patience. Bear with one another, and if any has a complaint against another, forgive each other just as the Lord has forgiven you, so you must also forgive. Above all, clothe yourselves with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. And let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which you were indeed called into the one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teach and admonish one another in all wisdom, and with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Now, you realize that today, as everybody who's married will tell you, Today is the hardest day of your marriage. <laughs> After today, it gets really, really easy. <laughs> right? No problems at all. No. Today is easy. It's going to be the easiest day of your marriage. In the future, it's going to get much harder. Now, I'm thinking you grew up here? Yes. Yes. And you, uh, you're stationed away. Yes, so yes. you're going to be leaving. Mm -hmm. you know, the place where you've always lived and moved, and that's going to be challenging. But you know something? Those are the big challenges you're going to be able to handle. And you know why you're going to handle them? Because you're going to be prepared for them. And when you're prepared, like when you're in training, you know, you, you are set. You're ready for the big things. What trips couples up are the little things. And I'm going to give you a couple of examples. Alexander, uh, you, you are going to be a paratrooper, right? Yes, Jumping out of airplanes. Let's say you've had, uh, is that hard? Is it difficult? No. I mean, your training has been easy? Yes. To this point? Yes. Basic training has been a breeze? Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, that's pretty, that's pretty good, yeah. Uh, well, well, they're going to be difficult. You've been working all day, you've been jumping out of planes all day. Yes. 
And you come home and you're tired, right? Yes. And you, when you're tired, what do you like to do? Relax. You like to relax. And when you relax, what is it that you do when you relax? Listen to music. Listen to music. So you're sitting there on the sofa and you're listening to music. And then Madison comes in and says words that every man feels. <laughs> well, that's scary too. <laughs> she says to you, Alexander, we need to talk. talk. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh boy is right. You know, because you know what that means? You are not going to be relaxing listening to music anymore. <laughs> and and Madison, how long have you known Alexander? Uh, about almost two years now. Two years? That's that's quite a while. Uh, now, you remember when you met him? Mm -hmm. Was it love at first sight? Yeah. Oh, wow. Now, when you started dating, you remember I don't, those cute little traits mm -hmm. that Alexander has, those cute little habits that you were sure <laughs> you could change if you had them for two years? What have you discovered now? They don't change. They don't change. <laughs> and you know what? They're never going to change. These are the little things I'm talking about. And sometimes it's the little things that trip us up. And that's why I want to challenge you to remember the words I read from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Because if you face these little problems, making the decision that you are going to forgive just as you've been forgiven, that you are going to li listen even though you'd rather be talking. And to put the other fir person first, even though that means putting yourself second. But above all, if you choose each and every day that you are going to love one another, you are going to love one another, which means treat one another in a loving way. I'll tell you, not only will you be able to handle the big problems, the little problems will, won't even be speed bumps in your relationship. Let's have a word of prayer. Lord God, we ask that you bless Alexander and Madison as they pledge their lives to each other, that their love may continue to grow and be a true reflection of your love for us all. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Now, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to join hands. Okay? Very good. And Alexander, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Madison's eyes. Okay? And I want you to repeat these words after me. I, Alexander, take you, Madison. I, Alexander, take you, Madison. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. Now, Madison, I want you to look as deeply as you can into Alexander's eyes. And repeat after me. I, Madison, take you, Alexander. I, Madison, take you, Alexander. As my wedded husband. As my wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. And thereto I pledge myself truly. And thereto I pledge myself truly. With all my heart. With all my heart. Good. The rings. Now, Alexander, would you would you put <laughs> would you would you put Madison's ring on the fourth finger of her left hand and repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. I'm sorry. <laughs> as a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. All right. And Madison, I'd like you to put Alexander's ring on the fourth finger of his left hand and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my promise. As a sign of my promise. Good. Let's pray. Eternal God, whose love is the source of everything that's good, 
We pray that the knowledge of your love will inspire this union that's now begun. Grant that Madison and Alexander, who have dedicated themselves to one another in your name, grant that they may live in harmony and true companionship throughout their life together, seeking one another's welfare, bearing one another's burdens, and sharing one another's joys. Give them the resources to live without the fear of poverty and grant them joy in their home. Father, keep them true to the faith in which this marriage has begun that they may always walk within the light and love of Christ, strengthened by the Holy Spirit against all temptation. And when mortal life is over, bring them in your mercy to the joy of that life, which shall have no ending. In the kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Since you have now pledged yourself to one another in the covenant of marriage, and have made your declaration before God in these witnesses, I pronounce you to be... Husband and wife, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, what God has joined together, let no one separate. As God's own, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, and patience, forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, and crown all these things with love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony. Amen. Alexander. I think he's supposed to say, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Alexander. Yes, sir. Uh, you may now kiss your wife. <laughs>